Chelsea and Liverpool could go to war during the summer transfer window. Chelsea and Liverpool are reportedly among the clubs monitoring Napolis high-flying winger Kavicha Kavaratskilia. Azuri president Aurelio De Laurentiis only has a few months to secure the Georgians' future ahead of the summer transfer window, when Victor Osimhen is also expected to depart. De Laurentiis is believed to be intent on ensuring Napoli don't lose both of their star performers in the same window. Osimhen and Kavaratskilia are leading the club's scoring charts with 20 Serie A goals between them. And while Osimhen's exit is almost a certainty, Kavaratskilia could yet stay put for another year. According to journalist Chiro Venerato, his contract situation is still up in the air as he waits for a wage hike significant enough to stop his head being turned in the summer. Napoli are reportedly keen to postpone Kavaratskilia's exit until 2025 and negotiate a release clause in the meantime. Ensuring they get a fair price when the 23-year-old eventually moves on. Liverpool and Chelsea are understood to be following the situation with a view to capitalizing at the end of the season. But as it stands, it appears as though Blues co-owner Todd Bowley has the upper hand. Not only have Chelsea shown a greater willingness to shell out the kind of nine-figure transfer fee that may be required to land Kvaratskhelia, Calcio Mercado reported late last year that the Londoners were in pole position to sign the Napoli star. Liverpool therefore have ground to make up, with Manchester City and Real Madrid also reportedly keeping track of the tussle from afar. The Reds will be in desperate need of a high-class attacker if Mohamed Salah follows Jurgen Klopp out of Anfield in a few months' time. Kvaratskhelia fits the brief, with 13 goal contributions in 25 Serie A matches this season. The Napoli man was still playing in Georgia as recently as 2022 before he was unearthed and introduced to the European mainstream. De Laurentiis recently suggested he may not have a clear picture of Kvaratskhelia's future for several more months. I called Kvara's entourage three months ago, and we met in my office, he said in February. I wrote down what I wanted to do, how to extend his contract and they said not to be worried, that Kvara is happy here and that we'll talk again at the end of the season. 